Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live. I'm Audrey, I'm here with my good friends Demetrius and Kay, and we're very excited to show you Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. Now this is a complete uh, remake from the ground up of Advance Wars 1 and 2. It's been 20 years since the original game came out on Game Boy Advance, so, you know, I think we've waited long enough. D, why don't you show us how it's done? Yeah. <laughs> um, Alright, so what we're going to do is show you two different missions today, and right now I'm actually playing the, the very first mission in the game, and we're just going to start right off and kind of just jump right into it. Um, so for those who have never played Advance Wars before, um, all the units I control right now are right here on the left-hand side, and the opposing team is going to be, or enemies, is on the right-hand side. My goal is going to be to capture this base over here, but let's kind of get started. So what I want to do is I'm going to start by moving my tank over here. All right. This is looking good. Brave little tank. <laughs> <laughs> I only got one, so <laughs> I gotta make sure to take care of it. When yeah. I see damage like that, I'm like, eep! <laughs> it's worth noting, this is the same addictive gameplay from the original games, but with redesigned characters and units. So that's why it's so shiny and cartoony. And adorable. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you can kind of see the edge of the map look like a board too, which is really, really cool. And this okay. grid-based system might look familiar to fans of Fire Emblem, and this is uh, this is similar except for in this game you actually control squadrons of units instead of individual characters, which obviously has its own challenges. As Dee's going to show us. Yes, it's really cool how they do this. So everything is turn-based. Essentially, um, I'm going to end my turn, and then I'll, the enemy will go, and that will consist of the first day. Olaf, hello, Olaf. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's Still. clearly the good guy. <laughs> <laughs> and Blue Moon is the name of the army that Olaf works for. We are the Orange Star Army. All right, everything's looking good so far. Oh, I was hoping they would lose four. Uh, one more additional tank right here. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. All right, we're doing okay. All right, Shaking. so... Shaking. <laughs> all right, I'm already. Okay, so for those who are wondering, you see right here it says damage 55%. So that's the percent I'm going to do a good amount of damage. Um, one thing to note about this skin that's really interesting is you start off with 10 HP, and that is also the amount of power that you have, or it's the best way to think about that. So the less number you have, the less power you do. And this is really important because sometimes units can counterattack. Um, keep that in mind because we really want to avoid this medium tank right here. Uh, this thing can hit like a truck and just, well, hit like a tank, actually. Like a tank. <laughs> <laughs> like a and medium tank. Like a medium it's tank. Heavy. And take everything out. So I want to be very careful about that. And I also want to take out this artillery unit here. So I am going to do that. I've got to be very, very precise here. Okay. So this is looking good. Um, one thing to also note is because I'm in a city right now, on a city tile, I had enhanced defense. That's why you see those stars. So fire. This is looking good. Okay, we're going to shoot this. Bombs away! I really don't want this artillery unit to survive because uh, uh, it'll yeah, those, really mess with my, my plan. Well, those <laughs> long-range like units can be super tricky, so it is a good idea to get rid of them first. Yeah. It's really important in this game to control your surroundings. Be aware of not only where you're placing your units, but uh, what the enemy's ranges are, what's going on with the different bases. There's a lot to, uh, to manage. Correct. You can even capture cities, and this really comes into play later when you build units, which we'll show you in the next mission. Uh, but for now, I'm just capturing just because I want to. It's, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing to note is some units have different moves. Uh, they can only move a certain amount of spaces. So, for example, this APC, it's really good to load up some units that have less movement. So that's what I'm planning to do right now. Okay, so everything's looking good. I'm going to end here and go to day two. So what's your overall plan for dealing with this medium tank, D? I am going to kind of create a diversion. My, my goal is to first move all of my APCs, uh, excuse me, all of my, my troops over and then I'm going to use my APC and my tank to block the medium tank from, from moving while I try to capture the base. So, or headquarters, rather. All right. Now, this is the part's a little... I'm going to speed this up just a little bit, but I'm a little worried. Okay, whew, not too much damage. <laughs> well, you can see them actually go through the water because they were placed on the water. Yeah, different tiles have different uh, backgrounds or different effects, and it's really cool. 
Now, it's the beginning of day three, so that means um, we can talk a little bit at the beginning uh, here about our CO powers. Wait, but first we have to worship an L. Hi, Nell. <laughs> Hello, Nell. Yeah, we can move on. <laughs> <laughs> now, for those who are wondering, CO powers are essentially um, unique powers for each additional CO or commanding officer. Um, for Nell, she's going to be able to essentially increase her chance and have a little bit more power. So that's going to be wonderful to do. Yeah, Nell's a lucky lady, so when she increases her luck, good, good things happen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, um, the way CO powers increase is just through battle. It's not just that it randomly builds up, so that's just one thing to keep in mind. Um, I'm going to activate it right now. All right. You're going to need the luck. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so cute in this animation. Go, Nell. Oh. Okay, this is good. This is working out great. Um, what I need to do here, let's see. They have greater chance of dealing high damage in battle. But everyone's different. Even Olaf has a really good uh, CO power, but I want to make sure to try to avoid that because it's going <laughs> to slow me down. Yeah, Olaf's CO power is really cool. <laughs> he actually allows... <laughs> I'm sorry, I had I see to. What you there. <laughs> I so appreciate that. <laughs> it allows him to make it snow, which changes the battlefield because his units aren't affected. Their mobility and range aren't affected by snow, but your units are, so you really, you really want to try and avoid that, D. Good luck with that. I know. <laughs> One other thing you might see me uh, do. Oh, gosh, do I want to take that out? Actually, you know, I'm going to. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. What you going to do, D? Actually, here we go. Uh, one of the new features as well to this is I can actually hold down a button and I can speed up the animations, um, which is a great, great new feature. You can also just turn the battle animations off if you want to go even faster. Right. But if you're like Why me. Why would you want to do that? Yeah, exactly. You want to see those They're animations. They're so cute. Yeah, if you really hate delightful things, just turn them off. But. <laughs> Otherwise, you can just fast forward through if you're short on time. <laughs> so we're going to go through that. All right, so this is looking great. Now we're going to see these mech units. That's these guys who carry missiles. They're really good against tanks, so I want to be very careful. Um, but everything's looking good here. I'm going to probably, you know what, I'm just going to stay here and end my turn. This is looking good. What yeah. I really love about this game is each time you approach a map, it, it's basically brand new. There are so many different ways you can go about winning or trying to win. And so, uh, like this time, you said you're capturing bases for fun. You, you really you don't have to capture all of the bases in some maps, so it's really up to you how, how much you want to go for it. Yeah, well, and I'm, even I'm, on this map, if you were feeling extra lucky or maybe extra reckless, you could try <laughs> to take out that medium tank mm -hmm. and win by taking out all the units on the map. And that's Why does I feel like a challenge game? <laughs> yeah. If you were feeling great, I didn't or, say that uh, you should value something. <laughs> I guess you could. Wink, wink. <laughs> nah, we ain't going there. <laughs> too smart for that one. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna happen. I promise I'm not on Olaf's side. Uh -huh. I'm on Olaf's side, but, oh! but I do support you. <laughs> it's a battle on two fronts it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we're looking really good. So this is where it gets a little tricky. I really want to pay attention to the tile work, because you can see this is the enemy range of attack. You'll see there's one little spot here that I can move my APC and not get attacked. So that's what I'm going to do. That APC is carrying precious cargo. Yeah, that's the really key is. to your victory right there, little Henry. Yeah, yeah. Be so gentle with little Henry. <laughs> I just canceled that out of fear. <laughs> or do I want to triple check? Yeah, okay. Really, a mistake of just one tile can ruin your whole game. <laughs> For real? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little worried. All right. <laughs> Don't be worried, though. Yeah, you know, I'll capture it. Maybe right be here. a little worried. He's a little worried. A little worried. <laughs> the tank is pretty scary, right? It, it really it is. is. It really is. The medium tank will destroy my, my regular tank in one shot because I'm at nine. If I was at ten, it would take it down to one, but oh, since no. it was damaged a little bit. Oh, oh. feisty Nell got. She did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to capture here. All right, things are looking good. So this is at nine. I'm going to go ahead and park it right here because I can actually get a repair on any cities uh, that I own or have taken over. And don't forget, you can actually capture cities um, that are taken over by the opposing side as well. I won't do that right now, but just in case, if those are wondering. All right, so here we go, Kay. I'm going <laughs> to uh -huh. bring this right here. Are you sure? This one's for you. The timing is right, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you make it all the way over to the HQ? Yeah, I can. Okay. Are you messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep you on your toes, man. That's right. I appreciate it. 
<laughs> He's got oh. plans. I do got plans. I got good plans. We've seen those plans crumble <laughs> many times. <laughs> but that is the fun part of this. Everybody does have their own play style, and sometimes you have to kind of adjust on the fly, and that's really, really fun about this game. Yeah, it's not Dee's fault Olaf has beard powers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here it comes. Here we go. The strength of the medium tank. <laughs> oh, Olaf. I oh, mean, Olaf. Demetrius. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> fine. Oh. I'll do it alone. <laughs> okay. Let's go here. I'm gonna capture. And I'm gonna capture. I really should be attacking, Capturing but I'm a lot just... of cities here actually. Yeah, I'm being a little gluttonous here, but I'm gonna move this there to protect, and then I still don't want that medium tank to move. And this is pretty much... That APC has been the MVP of this map. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> now going to a valiant you know what? sacrificial I'm just, death. I'm just going to end my turn. I'm not even worried. You know, We, we just got this. Mm -hmm. No, this will survive mm -hmm. by one. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, I, oh, oh, I was wrong! Oh, dear. Oh, what have you done? No. Henry, no, Henry. <laughs> I was not expecting that, but it's all right, because, see, you got to protect your base. You got to protect your headquarters. You got through that cities. by the skin of your teeth. I got it. Yeah. So that's a victory. Perfect. Nice work. All right, so everything's looking good. All right, no, no time for celebration, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's we're take gonna on do... something that's a bit more challenging. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and cut away from that's this for I just feel. a second. <laughs> and I'm going to load up the next one, so let's just cut away for a sec. Perfect. And just you give you us a somehow chance. managed to bring down Olaf. I'm happy for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Olaf will be back. Oh, he'll be back. So what we're going to do now is load up Mission 6, which is going to be a bit more of a challenge. And just a second here, i got to get through all these screens. But um, this one will be really interesting because now we're going to bring in building units with a base. And um, as well as different air units as well. So we have to be very, very, very careful. Right. And we're up a against a different CO this time, who is one of my favorites. <laughs> Big Eagle fan, huh? So I am <laughs> going to unabashedly be rooting for Eagle. <laughs> I'll root for D, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Now we're, we're back in. Okay, so Those little animations are so cute. Yeah, they I really do it. emote very well. It's, mm -hmm. it's super, super cool. All right, so right now, essentially in the story, we're we're kind of seeing what's going on. We don't know who we're taking on. We don't know in just for the next few seconds. But as it is, it's Eagle, and Eagle's very, very dangerous um, because he's extremely good with his air units. Now, as you see, the map is quite a bit bigger now, and I still want to capture this headquarters here and um, because you're a coward <laughs> <laughs> i mean i could Ooh. go the hard way but <laughs> why, why why you know what you, you just gotta play it smart right <laughs> is that what you're calling it yes <laughs> okay yeah i'll take it a win is a win okay you know this <laughs> i think you've got a decent chance of winning <laughs> <laughs> i will take that too all right so now i do have my own heavy tank or excuse me medium tank and I'm going to use this to kind of create uh, an open space. It's a good moment to see how the different units uh, and uh, different vehicles look different on the different sides. Exactly. Wait till we get to see some of these aerial units in action. Oh, yeah. That's where the fun is at. Mm -hmm. Oh, like this one? You want to see this one in action? Fun for I'm, us. I'm uh -huh. about to shoot it down. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, these are the small fries, though. <laughs> like, we'll see how big you talk when you have to go up against the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little worried about the Jets. No <laughs> you should be. The Jets yes. are formidable. And their range is enormous. They really are. And I will show everybody in just one second what we mean by that. So you see you've got a, what is it, the transport copter loaded up yes. with one of your infantry units. Which I'm going to move down here. And this is really the, the key of the, at least my strategy here is I really want to protect this transport copter. Um, I really want also to protect the battle copter as well if I can. But this right here is key because I'm going to fly it all the way over and land right there. But as you can see over here, these jets Ooh. have an incredible range. And with Eagle CEO power, which makes them able to go twice, it's really, really tough. 
So you basically have to pay attention to the placement of that copter at all times. You, mm -hmm. you really do. You really do. Good luck. <laughs> so what I really want to do is try to block this transport copter a lot. So I'm actually going to build an APC. And I'm gonna, you're going to see me do that one more time because I want to actually build a couple and use them to kind of lure a lot of things away. So things are looking good here. That's a really good point. How you manage your resources really has a deep impact on your gameplay. It affects how you're able to complete objectives, how hard it is for yourself even. So you really have to keep an eye on your, your gold. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see where he moves. I really love the bases too because they do give you Ooh. more range and more more options on how you want to tackle certain challenges. Mm -hmm. And see, this is really fascinating part about this game was during my practice, one jet went up top and one jet went below, but now they both went below. So there must be something that I'm not seeing, but that's really the fun part. So I'm going to have to improvise a little bit here. Nice. Those rockets were... Yeah, you blocked. can't really plan for the full map. They're always going to take you by surprise in some yep. way or another. Yeah, so what I want to do now is... All right, so I'm going to move... Are you sure about that? <laughs> yes. Y yes? He yes. was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wait know. Here. I've seen you getting in trouble at this place before, so... I'm going to wait here, <laughs> and this is what I'm going to do. That was ancient history. Is it? Here. <laughs> Time will tell. <laughs> I am going to move Ooh. here. Woo. That was gutsy. Yeah. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> My plan is working. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I do want to keep that there. All right, shoo. Now, the jets cannot attack things on the ground. They only go air to air. So as you see now, I'm boxing everything in. The only thing I'm worried about is if a jet goes from behind and takes out my battle copter, so I got to be very careful. Mm -hmm. But so far, we, we in there. I'm going to move right here. Move this here. I think people call this the turtle technique. <laughs> <laughs> it's called winning. <laughs> <laughs> and I will we'll take do it. That. Okay, let's do end turn. And there is a bomber up in the top hand right, but I don't want to go within that view. Now you'll see that Eagle's taking over bases as well, but we're okay with that. Um, I have I have plans. I have plans, ladies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we believe you. <laughs> That's what do you always you know? say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. It okay. really feels like playing with a bunch of uh, toy soldiers when you're playing. Yeah, this it really game. does have that <laughs> feel, doesn't it? Okay. So everything's looking good. What I really want to do now is take this one out. So if I don't destroy these, oh, it wow. really gives Eagle a chance to use all of this arsenal twice. Um, just his air units, and even though he goes on the second time, it's going to be at half power, but it's still very, very formidable. So now I'm going to be a little risky here. I'm going to move this forward. And all right, like, that was creating choice. space. <laughs> That's interesting. But here, I'm going to do this. It's not what I would have done, but you know. <laughs> it's okay. You play your game. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm going to move over here. So we're going to end up more, more than likely. I won't be able to. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're gonna be careful. So see, we have to see how. Aha! <laughs> mm -hmm. So this looks good. Yeah. I'm just gonna move you over because I know you're gonna. You know what? Yeah, I know what you're. You gotta gonna take a chance sometimes. Well, because what what you can do is kind of fly around, right, and then activate and come right back under. Yeah. Yes. So what I'm going to do is block right here. Ooh, that's pretty clever. Actually. You've learned from your mistakes. <laughs> I really can't move anything else, so I'm just going to be first uh, forced to end my turn. <laughs> and that CO power is full, so we'll see. Have mercy, Eagle. We'll see when he chooses to use it. I'm not sure if he'll use it now, but I know if he does not use it now and I blow his jet out of the sky, th yep, oh. then he will use that bomber and probably destroy my medium tank and maybe an APC, but that's okay. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Again, part of the plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got this. Everything's looking good. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> That's how you're making D feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got this here. 
I'm going to speed things up again. This will finish it, yes. All right, now I can safely start moving all of my troops over. Now life can resume again. <laughs> yeah, now we're looking really bit. good. So yeah. now I can just fly all the way over here. Mm. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, we good. We good. Remember whose side she's on. <laughs> I, that's true. <laughs> that's very true. I have to admit, you're doing very well. <laughs> For now. Hands her to say I it, don't believe but... you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> you do still have that bomber to worry about. I do. And I still have to make sure I don't draw too much attention. And I think I'm going to be able to move this right. Yeah, you really don't want them to come for you until you're quite ready for it. Oh, man, I really can't move very far. Okay, here. I don't think you'll be able to relax until... Eagle uses that CO power. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I still have... Okay. I should be all right. I'm going to try to move right... Here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going for it. Oh. Well, we'll see. We'll see if this is the start of your downfall. So we definitely just lost this medium tank. And I think we might lose my anti-air unit as well. But that's okay. It's always hard to predict Speed what Eagle's going to go for next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. He might actually go for an APC. And you'll see bombers are incredibly powerful. I Ooh. love this animation so much. Yeah, it's like, like everything out. The game is beginning now. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. Ugh. Here it comes. Yes. <laughs> See, I, I planned this. I can't help but notice your transport copter is uh, <laughs> not being turtled. But no, it's okay because you can't bomb the transport copter, so we're fine. Mm -hmm. The bomber can't attack. But yep, going for an APC. Oh, your trick worked. Yeah. That's pretty good. And that, yeah, this is the type of play style I like to kind of try to draw them out in, you know, on my my time. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're looking really, really good here now. So I'm going to start capture everything, capture this base. Then I'm going to capture this city. And the way that works is you see there's a point structure there. And again, remember that units have uh, different... Oh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> uh, have, have HP. So um, to capture this, I need 20. And since I have a full unit at 10, that means I'll be able to capture it next turn. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to shoot this thing down totally, right? Yeah, 116. There we go. That's going to feel pretty good. Bye! Oh, oh. <laughs> gone. What do you think Bye, about that, Kay? Bye, bomber. <laughs> you will be remembered. <laughs> all right, so now we really opened up a lot. So I'm going to move all of my stuff up because we still kind of have to worry um, about the bases. We don't want a bunch of tanks starting to roll across the bridge here. And there still is a tank up there, so I'm just going to start moving into position. Actually, ooh. Yeah, just because that bomber's gone doesn't mean he doesn't have tricks up his sleeve still. Correct. Never underestimate your opponent. You never know what they're going to do. You're learning. <laughs> <laughs> going to go ahead and supply. You want to capture that? Nope. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope, nope. Sorry. Not today. Ooh. Even with that high amount of defense, that's not going to help you. All right, Eagle now let's is not move happy about that. No. <laughs> Just move that over there. Okay, we're looking good, right? I'm not forgetting anything, am I, ladies? No. Not that Kay's going to tell you. <laughs> 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 and now you may be wondering, well, Demetrius, you have your CO power. I'm going to save that for for the end, and you'll you'll see why. Sometimes when you get your CO power, you don't really want to use it right away. You want to use it at the most opportune moment. Right. That's right. It's You're not so easy Andy to get it back. This time instead of Nell, so you've got a different Correct. Different CO power this time to show off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is move my tank over here. You're looking good. I want to move my artillery up as high as possible, right there. Alright, here we go. So now we know the tank can come all the way down, right? Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly over here drop and now there's nothing this tank can do and I'm going to move my battlecopter in po into position 
and really, this is pretty much winnable no matter what now. And I'm actually in a really good spot here. Yeah. I don't you know think you're I've feeling seen you cozy. do this well before. <laughs> He's capturing so many cities. He's feeling cozy. Yeah. I practiced. <laughs> <laughs> we won't ask you how many times. <laughs> yeah, it was, mm, let's say more than one. <laughs> Replay value. <laughs> now this will do some significant damage, but we're okay. All right, here comes wow. all the tanks and all that, but we're not worried about that. Now, if for some reason things did go south, you can just, you know, just as a little bit of advice, you can always start to build something down here like rockets. And now you see I have the bridge covered. So I can just start piling things on, going over here. I can move over here. See, now I have so many things covered. Let's go ahead and use this battle copter just to take this down. All right, it's not gonna do much damage. And you may be wondering, well, this is still wounded. Well, now it's time to use my CO power. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> so Andy has what's called hyper repair. And remember now, every unit has about 10, uh, has 10 HP. With hyper repair, you get two HP back for every unit you have. Oh, nice. It's really, really wonderful. That can really save your neck yeah. sometimes too. Yeah, I've, I've won many, many emissions just repairing and getting through it. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're looking good here. We have it captured. Can I move? Oh, it's out of the way. I can't help it. I got to capture more. <laughs> it's One right thing to there. know, too, <laughs> is the more cities you have captured, the more amount of gold or, or in-game currency you're going to get per turn. And that's what helps you build everything. Okay, so you know what? I think we're good. I'm not even going to worry. I'm just going to end my turn. We got this. You're doing pretty great resource management here, I have to say. Capturing cities, building at bases. You're, you're owning. You're so a worthy opponent. He's trying. <laughs> Look, that does nothing. That does nothing. You can move all over here. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just going to hold fast forward here. You can't even take out my regular tank. You got nothing. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Now you're mocking you. <laughs> you better, you better uh, yeah, it's not be careful fly. how uh, confident you are. Well, you it's know, not over till it's over. Should I capture anything? I just want. <laughs> I'm just gonna skip it all. <laughs> capture. He's gonna make him so Boom, mad. and that's it. That's mission accomplished. Ooh. Very well done. It, no, that seems possible because I was playing. We never oh. doubted you for a second, either of us. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there is a lot more to show um, in the future. Uh, <laughs> don't forget, this was just from the first campaign of Advance Wars 1. Um, there is also the second campaign, Advance Wars 2, Black Hole Rising. And also, uh, I'd like to say real quickly that there is online uh, gameplay. So there is more going to be uh, about that coming so, uh, in the future as well. That's right. We've got a four-player uh, co-op that supports uh, up to four players and uh, all kinds of Commanding officers, weather, fog of war, different units. We haven't even taken a look at Advanced Wars 2, so there's still a lot to discover, but we were so happy to be able to show you this. And uh, please stay tuned. Next, we're going to take a look at WarioWare. Get it together. So stick around.